hands down our favorite couple i won't pay my bills so i can get my girlfriend a bub job bub job yes i think that works for you too a bub job you guys i've gathered all the evidence and i've come to the conclusion and i don't know if you've come to the same conclusion but i've concluded that the auntie over here really 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 wants to live on the street yes he wants to feel the cold concrete as he sleeps yes outside yes even though he has a house he doesn't care because he's doing everything to lose money in a heartbeat i don't even think gambling would make you lose money this fast ridiculous it's time for love after luck up baby oh but don't gamble gambling is definitely risky <sighs> here we go deontay and nicole the well and deontay and i have spent literally every single waking moment together so do you guys know each other's favorite carla now because that was the thing you were like he wants to do the tan -tan -tan with me but doesn't even know my favorite color so what have you guys been talking about now that's what i want to know how deep have you guys gone into conversation and you might think favorite color that's so childish that's so like uh, primary school or whatever not really not really um if you know your partner's favorite color you can buy them things in that color you can decorate the house in that color like it all is part of life it's all part of relationships and it's important but so now they're making dinner because guess who's coming i'm not ready to sleep with them so i said i'll meet his mom instead of doing it she said hmm, how am i going to keep him on the hook for longer let me say that I want to meet his mom so that he thinks like we're moving things ahead, right? So that he thinks that this is becoming more and more official, you know, because if I meet the mom, yes, you'll think, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This girl really now wants to be, yeah, 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 yeah. She really wants to be with me. That's what he's going to think. Um, Because look at how she said that. Just listen to how she said that. She said, I don't want to do the tantan. I don't want to do the tantan with him. So I'm going to meet his mom. I told him I want to meet his mom. So, I told him I want to meet his mom. You see, you see what she's doing there. I think my mom is gonna love you. I'm, I really hope so. Because if she what? don't, I'm not coming to see her ever again. How can somebody say that? I hope she she loves me. If she loves me because if she don't, I don't ever want to see her again. There, as a man, you should be like, <clears throat> er, skirt, pause. What? No, if she's in some kind of way, like a bit hesitant or, you know, she's doing the mommy thing of protecting, that just means that you guys are going to have to work through things and communicate. You're not going to say, I don't want to ever see her again. What kind of line is that? White picket fence everywhere. You know? He wants a white picket fence. He wants the marriage. He wants everything. He's going to pay for it all by himself. He's going to get dumped very soon after. Oh, beautiful wedding. My boob appointments. Oh, it won't happen at all. Anyway, so she has a leaflet there and um, she's gone she's going to figure out how much the bub job is gonna cost and he's going to supposed to he's supposed to pay for all of that obviously i got the price sheet right here instead of you just focusing on you know cooking the meal and stuff like that this is what you choose to focus are on. you serious supposedly she won't do the tan -tan -tan until she gets the bob job you know that you, you know the bob job you do the consultation then now they do the bob job then you have to heal it's gonna wait a long time not forever well if i gotta bust my ass to work or not pay my rent i will figure it out you would not pay your uh bills to pay for my boob job that's what it takes to keep you satisfied baby i guess so okay that makes me a little happy so it makes you happy to know that this man who has already spent thirty thousand plus on you would work bust his behind to get money so that you can get a bob job oh and not pay his bills not only grind but grind have the stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks give it all to you to get it and um not pay his bills so where is he gonna stay you're okay with him being evicted because he didn't pay because this thing is what six thousand dollars and she said oh, <laughs> that's nothing that's nothing this thing was even supposed to be 8,000. It's a bargain, babes. It's a bargain. Don't worry about it. And then she's like, so you would actually, you know, you would actually not pay your bills and give me all the money to get a bob job? 
And he's like, yeah, that makes you happy, baby. And she's like, yes, that makes me very happy. Because I don't care about your well-being. I don't care about you, and I don't love you like that. I love your money. And I love how uh, ridiculously, how to say, naive and just... What, what are the words we can use to describe this guy? Because I don't even think I've ever seen somebody like him. Nah, it's, it's wild. Cheer. Hold on. Yeah. Same. So then she's, she's there messaging Tia. Also, that salad they were making was crazy. Salad is supposed to be healthy and they put three kilos of cheese on top. If you're on a diet, if you're trying to be on a diet, these things don't work, okay? I'm just letting you know, these things don't work. Uh... Either you're going to be healthy or you're not. You can't mix the two and then be wondering, why am I not losing weight? Cut the cheese. In any case, um, so then she ends up talking to Tia. Her ex. Just randomly in the kitchen. Dante is right there. No shame. And when you used to date, you just still communicate with this person. What are you eating that's underneath those nails, girl? In any case, I never quite like it. Bit of a germaphobe over here. Never quite like it. Maybe we're like... Mwah, mwah, mwah and then handle your food with the same hands, you know. Uh-uh, that is not a business. She was scooping out that salad, doing God knows what else, the peppers, and then next you know, and then next thing you know, back into your food. Don't do that. I mean, she's my friend, Dante. I wouldn't do Wash your hands, that's what you need to do. Like that, and... That's my friend. Especially not on the night. You supposed to be my mom. Exactly, priorities all mm. jacked up. Dante told me that he had a... Toy. Now she's going to talk about the toy, the weird toy that he puts in the dishwasher, the one that's underneath his bed in the pillowcase. Oh, the thought of him this thing just, it, it creeps me out. It's you and I both. Ugh. Even like a life-size doll, it's so nasty. That's the nasty part. That thing is not life-size, it's small. Which is very, very creepy and gives me pee vibes. Not to say that he's a pee, but you never know. And also, it just gives her bad vibes. Like, with everything going on these days and the way people are bashing people and the way people are accusing people of things, if I were him, I would not be putting this on national television. I don't think that's going to end well. Oh, you want to take the heat off of you? So, then she's in, in his bedroom talking to Tia or whoever. I think it's Tia. Like, oh my gosh, so disgusting. I found this doll and it's nasty. Can you come and pick me up? He's a weirdo. And he's just outside the door like, what's she saying? So, yeah, then he comes in and he really gets mad. In my house making a joke out of me to some so then they continue to argue and argue but i like it i like how down to just talks back to her you know he doesn't just let her walk all over but he does all this and then he still gives her all the money so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day anyway <sighs> then he puts she puts her hand in his face right in his face and he's like uh -uh, don't put your hand in my face and she still does it she goes in sitting here real calm cool collective eh? calm cool and who she's sitting here real calm Cool and collective. What are you collecting? In any case, um, it's col it's not collective. It's collected. Like you're gathered. You're. But anyway. And I'm like I, I'm not going anywhere. You know, like I, you can tell that she's lying. Just the way she, mom's about to grill her so good. I'm here for all of it. I love your son, and I just I want. I and I just, girlfriend. You guys are, he thought y'all were engaged, okay? He's already talking about picket fence and marriage, okay? Supposedly, that's what you guys are about to do. You could have rehearsed this, these these lines that you're, you're regurgitating here. You could have just rehearsed it. This is terrible. I, want us to be able to I don't believe you. Have a good, like, relationship. You love my son. I do love your son. You love my son a lot. Is he Why? Silence, silence, silence. He's a big gentleman. You, you raised a good man. A big gentleman okay what does he do for you why do you love him what what makes you love him that is the question here not oh you raised a good guy and all the rest of like it. a lot of your doubts they come from him being with that girl Chelsea his ex who was blonde like her and pretty much they look identical you're gonna see a side-by-side -side, and I was like is that not the same girl yes I have asked your son for money but I am very tired look at him at first, I was like, oh, that's just another type of shot of uh, Nicole. You know? It's very confusing to me. Also, the bob, the, the bobs, 
they look like they, they they've been done in this picture but i guess this is pre surgery maybe it's post maybe you ended up paying for her and this is the picture with because you know when people get the bob job then they now they're really out there with it so maybe i don't know or maybe it's a very good push-up bra but these girls look alike ish kind of actually the more i look at it not really but sort of it's the blonde hair the, that that whole situation right that's what he's attracted to apparently I'm being compared to this girl because i definitely have not asked for half the crazy that she has asked for you've asked for a lot of stuff though and is that a diamond ring on your finger? Is that the promise ring that he gave you? Of course, if that's it, he's going to think that you guys are engaged. Look at the size of that thing. And he won't buy anything cheap. He'll buy a real good thing as well. So now women are just getting proposed to and saying, mm -mm, that's that's not really it. Okay, his proposal was a bit whack if that was a proposal. But in any case, let's, let me just put it this way. Women are getting really nice, expensive rings. And just because the proposal is whack, then they're like, okay, nah, that wasn't a proposal. That's a promise ring. Now you're waiting for another ring on whatever finger you're going to put that. I don't know. You're waiting for another diamond ring to be the engagement ring. And then now comes the wedding ring. That's a lot. Not me, I don't know. It's not that I like to compare y'all. It's just that when similarities are so close, you don't have a choice. It's hard. You're paranoid all the time because of what you've been through. No, I mean, you couldn't have been that paranoid if you went back to the website again. Who's I don't know. <laughs> I love them all. He said he's paranoid because of everything he went through with Chelsea, his ex. But the mom is like, how paranoid were you? You went back to the same website where these crooked, stealing, conniving people are. Sure, not all of them, but a lot of them. And fetch Nicole, double L. Like, how? How how paranoid are you? I love that she doesn't care who's there. She's like, uh-uh, let me set my son straight because he's acting mad. Locked up for four years away from men. Let's be real. We as women, we love just like men. They like the tantantana. Women like the tantantana too. And if women like the tantantana too, this is actually, the more I think about it, it's a very strange conversation to have with your mom there. It, it kind of is though. Because the mom is basically saying, you don't want to have the tantantana with my son? That's literally what this boils down to. But I guess she's just like fed up. If she wasn't asking for money, she'd be like, huh, okay. But the son not getting anything out of it as well, that's probably what's making her like, hmm, hmm. Paid all this money and no affection, no nothing. Okay. But still, this is, will be one of the weirdest conversations I've ever seen between a, a future daughter-in-law and a future mother-in-law. It's just kind of weird. Like, yo, have the tantantana with my son. Okay. This is just weird. It's just weird. There's something wrong with that picture that you you have a problem being intimate. All right, Mike. I don't think that you have a problem being intimate. I think that you have a problem being intimate with him. Yes, I do want to have sex, but it's also like I'm having, like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to have sex. You know what I'm saying? But you wasn't scared uh, to ask him for money. A woman like that could only want to be with him, I think, for materialistic reasons. Of course. She say she's around for the long haul. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, but so would I if I could get whatever I wanted. You ain't been intimate with your man in four years. I know how I feel and... I mean, for Christ's sake, he's up here with a blow-up doll. How does the mom know about the doll? Who told the mom about the doll? Did she see the doll? Oh my gosh, how does she know about the doll? <laughs> How does this woman know about the doll? This is crazy. This is madness. Did the auntie really tell his mom about? Are they that free in their family? They just talk about because the way she's talking about, you know, the tantantana over here it makes me feel like they just talk about these things very open, you know, and anything. Just talk about these things. How she must have gone to his house one day, opened the dishwasher, and be like, "What the heck is that?" Every time I take Nicole home. I walk her to the door to make sure she gets into the house. As long as Nicole has been out, she has never just sat on that porch. Please don't let this be what I think it is. It's always going to be what you think it is because you're already thinking it. That she is not all that into you and she's just taking you for you. She's just with you for your money and she has a whole bunch of other tricks and people on the side. You already know this. You should know this. 
and she's comfortable doing these things comfortable still talking to t and now she's not even hiding it so the, the, the disrespect is definitely there and the respect is definitely gone with the wind okay now she's sneaking in the night but the auntie had a plan he was like mm, let me screw screw and then screw screw scr right back and see what she's actually doing who the heck is she waiting for why is she sitting on the porch that looks like Zach to me, or whatever his name is, her ex, the guy. Doing the call. So she got caught, busted. It's been 2 a.m. in the morning, where you been? Yeah, that's what this is, busted. Um, Yeah, it's madness, it's crazy. If he sees this and doesn't bounce, I don't know what storyline is left. Like sometimes I see some of these things, it's like episode two, three, and I'm like, what storyline is left? Like, what is there left to say? This person is not being faithful. They've been caught out. How are these two people still gonna try and make it work and all the rest of this blah blah nonsense that that's just fake? I don't know. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bump stop. Ah, don't turn that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch well, it. I'll see you in the I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily ish videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for a glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The auntie, the auntie, the auntie. When, when, when will you learn? Probably when he's out on the street.